How are we doing today, people? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix most error codes on 3U tools. Now, a lot of times we wipe our devices by flashing them through 3U tools. Um, and a lot of times we get error codes on them. And don't get me wrong, this video doesn't work for all error codes on 3U tools, but it does work for most error codes on 3U tools, okay? So I'll just jump right on in. And what you need to do first, um, oh yeah, for the record, um, this I'm performing this today on Mac, but yes, it can be done on Windows as well. Uh, so straightforward, basically go on your browser um, and you want to type in ipsw.me, enter. And whichever device it is, uh, just giving you the problem. In my case, it's an iPad. So select iPad and then you select which specific model it is. So today I'm using a Mini 2. So, and the Wi Fi only. So it's this one here. So you select your device. Sorry, folks, my uh, <laughs> probably to do something with my connectivity. I don't know. Right, so here we go, yes. Um, and basically, so when you open it up, you will see the link here for the latest beta on there. And click on it, and then just scroll down and select download. Your download, will go into your downloads folder, obviously in Mac, goes here. <coughs> Windows goes bottom left corner, which you already know that anyway. Um, if you're a Windows user, that is. Um, so yeah, once the uh, software is downloaded, I will get back to you. Thank you for now. Okay, so as you can see, the software has been downloaded. So what you do is simply grab it, drag it to the desktop. Same as you would do on iTunes, uh, sorry, iTunes, 3U tools. Okay, so now it's on the desktop. My um, iPad here, as you can see, is connected in uh, DFU mode. So, when I open up iTunes, it'll recognize it in DFU. So, when click and restore, hold the options or alt key on a uh, Mac. If it's Windows, hold down the shift key and select restore now. Um, select desktop if it isn't already selected, which in mine it is. Select the uh, restore, the one you just downloaded. Open and simply click restore. So, Instead of iTunes downloading the software and the firmware for you, IPSW is like a third party, just like 3U tools in a way. <laughs> you know, it downloads the software from a third party rather than direct from Apple, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good idea if you ask me, you know. Um, so, it's extracting the software now. And um, so, yeah, I'll get back to you once the um, iPad uh, has been fully restored. Okay, so as you can see, it says 
your iPad has been restored to factory settings and there is no error code whatsoever. So on the iPad now, uh, wait for the second bar. There's the second bar. Once the second bar goes up, you, I mean, you're all set and you're ready to go. You set up your device as you're supposed to. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, there's certain three U tool errors uh, that um, can cause, you know, a lot of problems where this may not be able to fix it. But most of the error codes that I've had through three U tools, and believe me, I've had quite a few. Um, every time I've done this, it's it's always worked for me. You know, whether it's an easy flash. Um, and I get an error code on that or whether it's um, an iTunes flash through three U tools and I get that error code 14 or the error code 5005 or whatever, you know, every time I've always performed this operation through IPSW, downloaded it from there and used that software on the device and it's worked every single time never had a problem before so basically this is how you fix most of the th error codes in 3u tools people i hope you i hope you have enjoyed my video please do like subscribe and comment if you have any problems you know where i am this is mark the icloud helper coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now.